Our attitudes about race in America are reflected in our music, in our books, in uh, what we read, and in our movies as well. And one of the best loved, To Kill a Mockingbird, starring Gregory Peck as Atticus Finch, an iconic and inspiring character. Listen. You never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view. Yes, sir. Till you climb inside of his skin, walk around in it. I love that movie. I watched it this morning after all this came out. Now, a lot of re readers will never see the character the same way again. Back with me now to talk about it is Mark O'Mara, Mark Lamont Hill, and Ben Ferguson. Again, it's an amazing movie, isn't it? Yeah, it's and a great, great book. book. Great yeah. And it's a great book. Um, it's called, the new book is called Go Get a Watchman. Um, Go Set a Watchman, excuse me. So Atticus Finch is portrayed uh, not as a crusader for justice, but as a racist who attended a KKK meeting why do you think people are having a such strong reactions to this, Mark O'Mara? Well, first of all, I think this Atticus Finch is the original and true Atticus Finch. Yeah. Quite honestly, I think the Mockingbird book was sort of sanitized back in the 60s when they told Harper Lee to redo it four or five times over a two-year period because I don't think the Atticus Finch that we're now finding out exists would have been as accepted back then in the 60s. But quite honestly, this to me, Watchmen shows the Atticus Finch that I think truly would have existed. Very complex, growing up in the, 60, in the 30s, in the, 30s. And the 40s, and the 50s, yeah. in um, the, the South. You would not have had a person, quite honestly, as sanitized as Atticus Finch. Um, I like the fact that he's coming out now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we always talk about, do you think Atticus, we talk about the N-word a lot. Do you think he said the N-word? Do you think <laughs> it's in this book? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> and not like Trinidad J. <laughs> he, he, he was a throwback N-word. You know what I mean? I, I, I think that this is a quintessentially American. It's a G-R-A. Yes. On that. There's a G-R-A-S. Yes. Yeah. All them letters. <laughs> he, he, he is a, this is a quintessentially American thing, right? Yeah. Suddenly we have this white liberal crusader that turns out to be racist <laughs> underneath, right? I mean, this is a, such an American story. Yeah. And it's a fascinating one. People are sad because they're invested in the idea yeah. that, uh, that, that, we can be that we can be changed, that we can be better, and that, that white people can crusade for justice for black people. And I think that's true. But I think this book could be a more powerful tale that even in the midst of that, we yeah. still have a kind of moral complexity with biases underneath it. Ben Ferguson? Uh, look, I think the first book was one that inspired people to try to become a better version of themselves and to inspire to help others and to do great things. So when you see this, it's kind of like a letdown. It's like finding out that someone that you looked up to is a fraud and a phony. And I also think that this book could be as influential to people talking about race, hopefully in a real blunt way in high school and college classes, and maybe it will have the same type of open dialogue and discussion. It's going to be a lot more blunt. It's going to be completely different, but it can be used for good. Yeah. See, I, don't think he's, I don't think it was a fraud. I think it's just more complex than, than yes. Mockingbird showed. Well, and I, and I agree definitely very much different. with Ben. I really think that now, today, as opposed to even 10, 15 years ago, this is going to allow us to continue the conversations we talked about five or ten minutes ago because now we're getting into it and we can't ignore it. But see, but nobody's going to read this book. I, I mean, people, I think people are going to read it. No, no, no. I'm talking about in terms of uh, classrooms. It's a I'm talking, ben, I'm talking about in terms of classrooms. Like, I wouldn't put that in my classroom based on the reviews. Not because he's racist. It's because it's a bad book from all of the literary critics' opinions so far. And I think that's the danger of this book is that because it wasn't polished and edited and because Harper Lee didn't have a chance to put a final stamp on it in terms of, you know, updating it from but 60 isn't that years the, ago. But isn't that the history of it? I mean, I think that's what makes this book actually even more relevant is, is that the yeah. fact it was the real raw version that she was told to change. I think that's what makes the context of this a great read for a college class. I'm not saying they so shouldn't. They I'm saying they won't. I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying they won't. I think so. you just said what he said, right? <laughs> You're just saying what, what Mark O'Mara said. That's and it. I agree with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll be